I was at the Apple store the other day trying to get my Apple Watch repaired. It was new and yet it started to act up. All of a sudden I'm speaking to a group and it starts to go off. It says it's uh, uh, 10.43 a.m. and 52 seconds. And then later on it said it's 10.54 a.m. and so many seconds. And on and on and on. Finally, I had to take it off and have somebody walk it to the back of the room and put it in a drawer where it couldn't be heard. Well, I go into the Apple store and they say, what's your password? And I said, I have no idea. And uh, they said, well, you've got to have a pass key to get into the thing. And I said to them, I said, I hate those things. I, I never can remember. And I said, do I have to have that? I said, it's just me. Who else is going to want to get into my watch? And even if they did, what could they find in my watch? Well, anyway, we finally found it and, and got in. Well, when you turn to God in prayer, you don't need a password. You don't need a special code. You don't need, there is nothing to block you from your good. And that is the joy of God. There's no uh, security barriers and boundaries and walls that you need to go through. Uh, God is waiting, wanting, and willing to help you. And what a joy that is, that you don't have to remember anything, you don't have a secret code, uh, you have it already as a child of God. You have everything that you need for a life of wholeness, a life that is filled with courage and strength and inspiration. All you have to do is turn to God, because God has already turned to you. And in a moment of prayer, it can be a millisecond of, of, of silent affirmation, of divine guidance. Well, it begins the day aright. It gets you on the right path. And because you begin your day in open communication with God, not blocked, you bring an attitude of harmony to all that you do during that day. You can immediately turn to God right now in prayer. You don't need any special password, passcode, pass key. You just turn to God in prayer and you can communicate with God. You don't need to go through your priest or your rabbi or your minister you can directly communicate with God, and God can directly communicate with you. You can turn to God in prayer whenever a challenge arises. In tune with God, you have a mind that is instantly filled with right solutions. You find that a problem can become a real opportunity to commune with God again and find the right solution. And I've always enjoyed that. It becomes like a game to me, a wonderful game, a spiritual game of remembrance. Because so many times I will be in a dilemma where I don't have a clue. And yet, God always does. And what a thrill it is to find the solution by being infilled again with the wisdom and the understanding of God. We may tend to forget to pray when an immediate need is in front of us. But I pray that we'll remember quickly. And when we remember, we'll find that no matter what is happening, well, we can stand up to it, we can meet it, and we can have success through it with God. Because God is there, and God doesn't block you or block your access in any way like my Apple Watch did for me. <laughs> so I wish you full access of God. 
a realization and an awareness of it because, my friend, you have it right now. And you are approved throughout your lifetime and beyond with that access as a child of God.